Welcome to the motherhood. Five words that describe my character. Funny. Baby. Overbearing. Mysterious. Vomit. Put together. Spit up. And the fifth one. Gorgeous. That was great! That was good! Yeah. Even though the characters are so diametrically opposed, you can see what good friends they all are. <laughs> My character is Jane, and she's a divorced mother of two. She has a baby and a 12-year-old. She, I think, represents everybody just trying to do a good job with all best intentions. Like a lot of people. Mom! I will be there in a second. Well, when the show's over. I have a Manny, Horatio. It's okay, honey, your Manny's here. Like, my character is a responsible nanny. He's a little off in every other area. He'd never buy condoms at the dollar store. But as a nanny, he does a good job. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what'd you say? It's a special baby language. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I play Cheryl's younger sister. I've just been so sad, you know, thinking about my much older sister just all alone. She is that kind of mom that has everything together. Somehow she looks great, pulls everything off. I'm on it. She loves to tell other people what to do and what is specifically what they're doing wrong. Jason and I have a long-term plan based on honesty and you are a liar. My character is named Rosemary, and she lives next door to James. Is it irritating that I'm still here? Rosemary is a free spirit. I hosted a rave two days after my kid was born. The way that my character behaves with my son, Luke, is like you would behave with a friend. That thing that we were talking about? It happened. Totally. All right, text me, text me. And somehow she's got the best kid of them all. Have you read one parenting book? I did read the book by the dog whisperer. Yeah, you go, shh.